Good morning and happy Wednesday morning. <clears throat> so, um, what am I say? Didn't work out this morning. Uh, I'm gonna work working out tonight. I'm not doing a two a day today. And this is our last chance workout. I mean, if you watched Biggest Loser, that's what they called the uh, workout the day before their weigh-in. So this, today is our last chance workout. Um, also, uh, scale scale was good this morning. So I still am wondering if I need. I think I need a new scale actually, because it will be uh, like two pounds difference between stepping on it once, stepping off of it, stepping on it again, and I don't know if that is right. And I think it's just an old scale too. So I never really know which number's correct. Um, so I'm thinking about getting a new scale. Uh, today we are gonna try to be as uh, good as we can on everything. I am actually making <clears throat> great value decaffeinated green tea instead of coffee. Um, not that the decaffeinated part has anything to do with it. I bought decaffeinated so I could have it in the evening if I wanted it. Um, a long time ago. I don't think I have... Uh, sometimes I wish I had both, though, honestly. And we're going to make a salad, and we're having a protein shake. So we're going to have a protein shake at noon, um, and a pretty simple salad. I'm going to try not to have a lot of salt today. I still want to drink my water, but I want to finish drinking my water early versus like the last, you know, 16, 20 ounces right before bed. So I'm going to try to get my water in, um, and really try to cut salt today. I think that's really what's been fighting me. Um, I know the keto diet is, you are recommended to have salt, um, because you can, I don't, I guess it's because you get dehydrated um, so easily with your drinking your water. <clears throat> I don't know. Don't quote me on that, guys. So, um, I know salt is encouraged. However, my body has never handled salt that great. Um, I love salt, but it will cling to me. Cling it. Um, but that's about it. My workout's gonna be good tonight. Hey guys, so I got thinking about it at work today, and I really think part of my problem, and this is, it's hilarious because it sounds like I'm blaming my scale, but I think I need a new scale. And especially because I want this to be, you know, overall the whole, this is a completely different year than any year I've tried this before. Like I'm more in it. So the scale that I have at home is probably three, five, like five years old maybe. Um, and I've changed batteries once and I just, it gives inaccurate readings. So I jumped online and was looking up uh, reviews and I also remembered that I get the 20% off coupons from Bed Bath & Beyond. So I was like, well, I'm going to go on Bed Bath & Beyond's website. So I found their top rated scale. Um, it had <clears throat> over 90 reviews and it was rated at a four and a half star. Um, and like 70 out of the 90 reviews were five star reviews. So I was like, well, why not? We'll give it a try. And it doesn't hurt to get a new scale. I mean, no problem. So I will show you guys the one I picked up and I'm excited to use it and I'm hoping it's not too terribly off from the one I have at home. Um, the reviews said it, I mean, there were multiple reviews that said how accurate it was and that you could, uh, it was accurate from day to day. So, but another thing I read was make sure you calibrate your scale. Um, it's very bad if, you know, if you move it at all, um, it needs recalibrated and most people don't read the directions, I guess, on scales. So that's definitely something I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in my bathroom and try not to move it anywhere. 
Um, hopefully it stays more consistent than my last one. Uh, we'll see. So this is the one I got and there were a few key things that I was looking for. Obviously how high the capacity was. It's up to 400. Not that I weigh that or close to that. But um, I also wanted to make sure it measured in increments of 0.2, not, you know, whole pound or half a pound because I feel like I want to track more progress than just half a pound or a pound. Um, also, it's huge. So the whole thing is 13 by 13. My one at home is tiny compared to that. So I'm excited for that. And it's backlit. That was another big thing. Um, my one at home right now is uh, dark with the um, digital numbers over it. And you actually have to, I have to get off of it and like look at it or bend down to see the numbers. Um, even with my contacts in, like I still can't read it from standing. So backlit was a big deal. And it's really thin. They had one on display, um, which was kind of cool. I got to like pick it up and feel it. My other one, I actually have to like step up onto it. So I think this is gonna be good. So I'm gonna check this out. Uh, maybe when I get back to work and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. So this is dinner tonight. Uh, this is a turkey wrap with sliced deli turkey, one piece of cheese, a uh, little bit of fat-free sour cream mixed with the ranch powder and pickles in it. And that sounded amazing, so that's what we're having. Um, a fourth a cup of rice, and it's white rice too, guys. I know that's kind of bad, but my husband had this made and it looked super good, so I don't know, we're just having a fourth cup. Um, pork rinds and ranch cauliflower from the microwave, uh, and I'm still at only 800 calories for the day, so I'm gonna have to find something else to eat because I'm still gonna work out. Um, yeah, but that's all for now. All right guys, workout done, and we call this Wednesday night in the bag. So a little, uh, success. I did the couch to 5k and in 28 minutes, I'm up to it being a mile 0.4, which I know some of you are going to be like, that's terrible. Um, to take 28 minutes to run one and almost one and a half miles. And that's okay. I'm all right with it because, um, I have old, uh, screenshots of when I was running the first time. And I think it was, uh, three miles in, like 50 minutes, I think, was one of my best times. So, if I can do one and a half in 30 minutes, then I can do three miles in an hour, and then I can just work on that and get that faster and faster and faster. So, I'm okay with it. Um, 371 calories burned, 3,185 steps. Like I said, 1.4 mile. Um, that girl in my Fitbit challenge is still beating me. She's up to like 10,000 steps ahead of me now. So, I'm not, I don't know if I can catch her. Unless I do a double, another double workout this week. I don't know. It could be Friday. It could, actually. Because I'll, I'll definitely work out in the morning Friday, and then we don't have any plans this weekend. It's supposed to snow, um, so I'm trying to not leave the house all weekend, especially after last weekend. That was kind of bad. Oh, that brings me to my next point. So my new scale. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. Um, first of all... I just love the size of it. Like it, like I said, it's way bigger than my old one. Um, the screen is huge and it lights up. It's beautiful. Um, you don't have to tap it to get it started, which I think is cool. You just step on it and it's not a big step. Like my other one was up off the ground, um, kind of high. This is very uh, shallow to the ground, low to the ground, so it's easier to get on. And I got on it tonight, so I got on my old one. And then I got on the new one just to compare to see how they were from each other. Not that the weight in the evening I'm taking, you know, that's not, you never should weigh yourself in the evening. Um, and I know that and I'm a scale like freak. Uh, so got on the old one, got on the new one and there's about a pound difference, which I think is fantastic. Um, so I don't necessarily, but then, you know, I kind of tested it. I got on and off a couple times and it stayed the same weight. Like I couldn't even make it like go higher or lower, which is pretty impressive. Um, cause like I said, I was getting all different readings from my old scale. So that puppy is going in the trash and the new boy is here to stay. 
Um, but I really like it. So I recommend that scale. It's from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was 30 bucks. Uh, I had a 20% coupon that everyone can get. Uh, I think you just sign up for your with your email or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So I'm going to shower quickly. It's very early. Like, I'm done working out very early. It's, what, 7.30? About 7.30. Um, so I am going to shower, have a protein shake, and watch my 600-pound life. So you heard me mention that I'm low on calories today, but the protein shake is going to help. And I just don't don't necessarily want to eat, so I'm not going to make myself eat. I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. But I'm feeling good, and I'm excited for my workout tomorrow. I think it's kind of all going to even out because of the weekend I had. So normally I wouldn't eat so light uh, on a Wednesday, even though I would eat a little bit light because I weigh in on Thursday. But, um, but the weekend was kind of bad. So um, I think it'll even itself out, and I'm okay with it. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. All right, so that's all I got. Um, yeah, it was a good day. It was definitely a good day. And I will check in with you guys first thing tomorrow for our away day. Also, tomorrow night is my family birthday party. Um, so I will be having cake, and I will be having probably half a cup of ice cream. And I'm going to show you. Well, I'm going to at least take a picture. I probably won't film because my family doesn't really know that I make these vlogs. Um... But I will take a picture and show you exactly what I had. I'm also making that pizza dip. And I don't know what else. I might take a bag of pork rinds because other people are going to be, there's probably going to be chips and dip and stuff. Oh, and I have that guacamole um, dip that we didn't use at the party. So that's what I'm taking. So being prepared. And yeah, that's about it. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow.